I'm going to just, if you can hear me, I'm going to just restart my network card. So I'll be off and right back on. Hold on. Sometimes that helps. Okay, cool. Yeah, it did help. Okay, so if you didn't hear that, I was saying I'm gonna just I was just going to uh drop the stream and or drop my uh network card and bring it back up and it looks like that pretty much did the trick. Oh, a lot of these chats are kinda Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know. I my network card some sometimes just has to be rebooted. So yay. Hopefully, I will stay back, I will stay up here. How do I see, thought I would return the favor, or, oh, it's not as easy as, oh yeah, again, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I made you a mod, Kayla. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I can see that it, it dropped a couple of times there, but hopefully I'm back up for good. To express astonishment at your audacity, false prophet, to be named Draxanusum, leader of our race, to demand to know why you have come before me. Well, I'm going to surrender be here to surrender? Yes. To be willing to die to save my people? Yes. To grant me your life? Yes. Why? Um, because? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Honor? <laughs> Suspicious of thy motives. Um, Codex? Any ideas? Why? I feel bad. <laughs> Dargoyles? Huh. Let me think. Um, why do I want to... <laughs> uh, I don't know what answer he's looking for here. Uh, save you? Guilt? <laughs> um, I honestly don't know. What is he looking for? Drax and new some motives. Uh, let's see. Transcript. Uh, That's interesting. Gargoyle shows you a crystal amulet dangling from a leather cord. To consent to wear this? Dupre whispers frantically, you mustn't, it's some sort of magical trap. Uh, yes, I will. Hands you the amulet and you slip the leather loop over your head. To surprise me with the nobility of your deed, to no longer be a threat to my people. 
permit you to travel among my people, talk to them, learn our ways. Alright. I guess I was supposed to refer to uh, whatever that guy's name is, Val Kadesh or whatever. Alright, fair enough. Let's go get Jana. <laughs> if she's still alive. I don't think I need Bellem anymore. Probably should get uh, healed. But I can't actually gate back here. She's still going to be here or did she go home? That's the question. I need to go pick her up and you I don't see her okay all right well, let me just talk to this guy leave oh I'm stuck with you very well Well, in that case, I better give you better weapons and stuff. Control and Passion, or the Slab. Where is the Slab? Oh. Let's see. N O Q. go to the Shrine of Diligence. That's fairly close to where I was before. <coughs> I guess it's going to be a lot of talking to these folks. Oh, I need 
you to talk to Naxatalor the Seer of the Meaning of Sacrifice. He will tell you of the Vortex and direct you to read the Book of Ritual in the Hall of Knowledge. Also, you must bring him the Vortex Lens from the central chamber of that hall. It's broken and will need to be repaired. Alright, fair enough. Let's go around. I might end up... Yeah, let's rest. Pray, watch, keep guard. I heard something. Oh, I see something. Wolves. Even here, there are packs of wolves roaming around. Ah, I already killed him, apparently. Yeah, I saw one up here. Oh, what? I guess that's that. to be enough rest for now. Snake charmer over here. Don't do snake venom. <laughs> like drugs, like meth. Excuse me. Alright. I need to go see Naxatilor, but I'm betting he's asleep right now. Let's see what the sun looks like. Oh, the sun's coming up. Okay, let's get rid of that. Remove the shield. I'm not going to go to the Hall of Knowledge just yet. Wait till Naxatilor wakes up. Yeah, look at that. Crystal ball. Alright, we're going to wait until he wakes up. Wake up. Wake up. Man, he sleeps just as late as Lord British does. <laughs> British seems to sleep until 9 o'clock. Wake up! Seriously, is he still asleep? Come on, man. Hello? A wolf weighs 11.5 stone. If a stone is 16 pounds, a wolf is 184 pounds. Uh, I don't know if it, that's how it works. Because, I mean, I can carry 60 stones. That would be a lot. <laughs> that would be, what, 660 pounds, something like that? 690 pounds? Or no, I'm looking at the wrong. One stone is 14. So, 60, 600, and I don't know, it's a lot. 840. I think stones in this game are less than 14 pounds. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's quite a wolf. Hey, maybe it's a giant wolf. This is a dire wolf. <laughs> Avatar of the Underworld. I consider your acceptance of this both noble and wise to observe by your aura that such honorable deeds are rare for you. <laughs> Do not be surprised, then, that you are fated to destroy the world. You have wreaked havoc, great havoc, in this land by your theft of the Codex. To have no choice but to return it. See, only two alternatives. To return the Codex 
or to give up your life. To know not where the Codex is, but to remember that Captain Bolesh just returned from the Codex to suggest you seek him to try the healer's house to the north. Really? Uh, okay. Healer, healer, healer. Uh, directly to the north. Alright. Hmm. See the amulet, the symbol of your courage and nobility. To wish to help you however I can. Nameless. Uh, oh, is he not the right guy? Oh yeah, there's another one. Yeah. There we go. Strong winged gargoyle warrior struggles to sit up the false prophet but to wear the amulet of submission to express awe at your honor and courage <laughs> alright man I kind of figured that you did so uh, no problem I'll uh, I promise not to do it all tonight <laughs> I'm close to the end but I've got a ways to go so I'll play a little more tomorrow during the day so good night thanks for stopping by yeah, let's see. Leader. To lead what remains of our forces into battle. <laughs> You're both blue. <laughs> That's right. Let's see here. <laughs> You recently returned from a mission to your side of the world to have tried to reach the Codex. <laughs> Dark Monkey Ocho. <laughs> I don't know. Is uh, Are you going to bed too? I don't know. Uh, to have had victory between our claws. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm sure it's uh, not quite as late for Mike. Ah, okay, yeah. It's only quarter to nine here, Arizona. To have had victory between our claws, but to have been thwarted on the verge of success, to have countered an impervious force. Alright. To know that such a force surrounded the Codex when my people possessed it. To remember that only those on sacred quests for wisdom could pass. Indeed. That's what I found. Receive a sacred quest of the Temple of Singularity, but to be uncertain whether a human's request would be answered there. To find the temple in the mountains to the north. To need to fly to get there, though. To be accessible only to the superior winged gargoyles. Totally unreachable by land, land bound worker gargoyles. To suppose that it is totally unreachable by landbound humans as well. Well, I have my balloon, so, you know. You know. I got it covered, buddy. Let's see if this guy has anything more to say about that. Smart guy. Uh, did I not ask his name? Yeah. Uh, Temple? Quest Codex What was it? Singular Singularity? Eh, whatever. I'll just go do that. I didn't know if he had anything more to say to me. Uh Altar of Singularity. What is R? Tomb of King. Hmm. Wait a minute. 
Was I supposed to talk to him about sacrifice? Yeah, I was, wasn't I? Sacrifice, I forgot about that. Yes, to know of the three meanings of that word, to ask to which type of sacrifice you refer. How about items of value? To know of only one item of true value, the codex itself, surely not to destroy the codex. No, perhaps to have another alternative? Yes, to return the codex to the vortex. Is that like the void? To then be available to both our peoples. Indeed direct you to go to the Hall of Knowledge south of here, there to read the Book of Ritual, there also to get the Vortex Lens, then to return here where I will tell you what must be done. Direct you to the Hall... Oh, it, oh, okay, gotcha. Let's check it out. Oh, who's this? old winged gargoyle, an odd device crafted of glass and metal. Press, <laughs> what, like, glasses? Yes, to require the reason for this interruption? Caretaker. Ah, let's see. Duties. Okay. In the three chambers... Uh, artifacts from the underworld in the human chamber, valuable books in the lib librum chamber, to keep the cube and the lens in the vortex chamber. Cube. Yet that that item is lost, stolen by human thieves. I've heard the m humans mention the name Stonegate. Oh, I haven't been there yet. To have heard them say they would sail through Lost Hope Bay. Alright. Stone gate. Uh, okay. Ah, yes, I got it. Oh, lens. That's what I want to say. Lens. Find what you seek in the vortex chamber. Very well. Oops. Well, there's a field my way, you jerk. <laughs> there we go. Nah, I might need that. The vortex cube. The vortex lens. Well, let's grab this sucker. Might as well dispel these as well. Prosperity. Uh. Ah. Good. At least it translated it. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not going to read all of that right now. Wasn't I supposed to look for the Book of Prophecy? Or family? Uh, yeah, yeah. One of these. Administration. when I check. Book of the Underworld. Ah. Hmm. Call us demons. <laughs> Fables of talking demons must be discredited. A book of ritual. Is this what I needed? Yeah. Alright. Uh, brought the codex to our land, thereby ushered in the time of prosperity with the help of the lens maker. I crafted the vortex lens by which I could see the codex where it originally rested. I created the vortex cube to focus the power of the moonstones and draw the vortex down to the world. Then I used the lens to form an image of the codex upon the cube. The vortex touched our plane, the image became solid, and the codex was brought down to be used properly by our race. Yes, I'm going to have to reverse that. Get out of my way. <laughs> I don't think there's anything useful over here, but take a look. Oh, there's a hammer and the loot. Crossbow, two-handed sword, some clothing, a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure they find all that stuff fascinating.
Yes, to see that the vortex lens is no longer whole. I go to the lens maker, get the lens repaired. Uh, lens maker. Oh, of course, it's not, uh, not easy to get to. Well, it's not too far. Let's go check out the lens maker. Follow this road, I believe. Some gargoyles. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a road that led right to him, I guess. The map's not clear. There he is. I believe. Ah, here he is. See a very old gargoyle. The venerable gargoyle peers at you. Oh, maybe I will finish this tonight, I don't know. <laughs> Greetings, false prophet, to have been told by Naxitalor long ago that the you <laughs> would one day come to me wearing the amulet of submission, to never have believed it would come to pass, to ask what service I can perform lens to see the shattered vortex lens you carry to remember making it so very long ago taking the shards of glass the lens maker turns to his grinding table in a short while he has crafted a new vortex lens to have far greater skill now than when first I made this lens he says smugly to require little time to repair it he hands you the restored vortex lens that's easy <laughs> doing a few things the quick way, so <laughs> certainly taking a lot less time than it did the first time I played this when I was, who knows, 15, 14, 13. Mm, is this it? Yeah. I got the lens. You have the Vortex Lens, to have read the Book of Ritual? Yes, I did. To be unable to reverse the ritual myself, but to know that the Codex itself will say how to return it to the Vortex. To know also that you will need a second lens. Yes, indeed. To require a human-crafted lens so that your people may also see the Codex. Try to show the human lens maker the vortex lens. Also, to be sure to tell the human lens maker that his lens must be concave. Concave. Let's see. Yes, I already talked to him. Oops. So, I need to get a quest, and in order to do that, I need to go to the temple of. Sorry, the Altar of Singularity? Yes. Here's where the balloon finally comes in, hopefully. Ah, there's the slap. This is where I... This is where you start the game, actually. I suppose. Alright, let's see here. I don't remember how this fan works exactly, but I believe first I need to oh, drop the old balloon. Alright. Down. 
left, up, that should be right, this is kind of annoying and complicated. Actually need the uh, let's see Gweno five zero okay didn't actually need the anchor after all oh well and let's see how many of these do I have left oh plenty to this thing? No. See a finely carved stone pyramid. As you face the altar, a voice rings in your head. You understand it perfectly, but you can't recognize the language. Thy deeds make thee unworthy of enlightenment. Return when thy path is more focused. Well, excuse me. Oops. Book of Circles. All begins with the three principles, control, passion, and diligence. From control springs direction, from passion springs feeling, from diligence springs persistence. But these three virtues are no more important than the other five. Control combines with passion to give balance. This all factors into Serp and Dial. Passion combines with diligence to yield achievement, and diligence joins with control to provide precision. The absence of control, passion, and diligence is chaos. Thus, the absence of the principles points toward the seventh virtue, order. Okay. The three principles unify to form singularity. This is the eighth virtue, but it is also the first because within singularity can be found all the principles and thus all the virtues. A circle has no end, it continues forever, with all parts equally important in the success of the whole. Our society is the same. It too contains forever, with all members and all virtues equal parts of the unified whole. What does this say? Codex of Ultimate Wisdom is not there. Book of Prophecies also. Actually, do I have that? Don't I still have that? I wonder if I should drop that here. I mean, as long as we're here, might as well. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Yo's been lugging that around everywhere. Let's drop that right here. Oh, come on. Really? Man, wait. I can't drop this here? Oh well. I'm just going to give it back to them. So what do I need to do here? Final quest. Short path north. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Is it because I'm stealing. I steal stuff all the time. <laughs> Uh, huh. You must visit the eight human shrines and purify yourself. Alright. Guess I need to do that. Well, let's go. Let's start with, uh, 
honesty. All right, who can remember all the mantras? Oh, that's much to learn about honesty. Om, I believe. Woot. <laughs> whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest. Okay. <laughs> Yay, more Ultima. Yes, I'm uh, sort of on the final quest, and I'm apparently not worthy. <laughs> Probably all the stealing. Uh, let's see. I need to basically visit, I, I guess, all the shrines and meditate. Compassion. Well, I know I've meditated here. That would be Mu. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can you down sample it or something? I think you can uh, select a lower quality. But yes, I am streaming at 1080p and 60 frames per second. I think I remember all of the... All of the mantras. Let's see if I remember all of them. This would be Justice. Which I believe... I think you enable that when you get partnership. No, oh, I'm not a partner right now. Oh, you can't change it? That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, is the... Is it L-U-M? Is that justice? Apparently. Oh. Wait a minute. That is the mantra of justice. Am I remembering that wrong? Oh, sorry. Well, I hope it's not too bad for you. Oh, it's Beh. Which one is L-U-M? Okay, 1080 is the only option available. Hmm. Sorry about that. I'm currently cleansing myself. I'm not worthy to talk to the Shrine of, of uh, Singularity. Let's see, which one is this? Sacrifice, I know what this is. Oh. Well, can I downsample it live? I'm not sure that I can. Let me just check. Uh, output. Video. Mm, no, unfortunately. All right, man. Well, I'll catch you later. I can't change it live, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, have a good night. I remember this one, Sacrifice. <laughs> I may finish this tonight, I don't know. But if I do, I will play some Ultima 7 tomorrow. Ka, ka. If not, I will finish it. Finish U6 tomorrow. We'll see. Very close to the end. Oh my, there's some uh, gremlins here. This is the Shrine of Honor. Uh, there is, let me think. Is this the one that's L-U-M? Let me see. No, some S-U-M-M. Honor may be assailed, but can never be hurt. 
Surprised by unjust force, but not enthralled. Very good. Next is spirituality. Hope my food doesn't all get stolen by these silly gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Shamino? Ah! No food! <laughs> Took all my food! Which one's the galleon? There he is. There's a little bit of food. Spirituality. This is the one that's L U M, I believe. No, that's no L U M is humility. Spirituality is Om. Okay. Humility. Actually, while I'm here, since I don't think I need it. Drop an anchor here. <laughs> All right. If we need an anchor, it's at the Shrine of Spirituality. Glasses are hurting my ears. Finally, <laughs> the, the right one. This is yes, L U M. This is why I stream at 7.20. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about that. I haven't had any trouble. I mean, well, or except for earlier tonight, but that was, it was my network card, which I just had to reset, and everything seems to be good. It hasn't dropped any frames in 42 minutes. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I've had, the thing is, I've had people pop in and before, when I was doing that, people popped in and complained that I was only streaming at 720 with 30 frames per second. They're like, why don't you do 60? I'm like, oh, okay. So I guess, unfortunately, can't please everyone. So, did I do honesty? I feel like I did honesty already. Yes, I think that's it. I did all of them. So let's go back to the shrine of, no, let's go back to the slab. The slab. So, I am on YouTube now. That's a. I'll have to remember that next time if uh, the torch shows up again. Is that I am also streaming on YouTube, and you definitely can decrease the quality on YouTube manually. I know you can. go. Hmm. holding that. Is it Gwenno? Yeah. Now, talk to me. Uh. Okay. Great. Okay. Cool. I was worried that it still wouldn't do it. May the wisdom imparted here help purify thy inner flame. What do you seek, Avatar? Oh. Codex? 
For whom dost thou truly seek the Codex? Everyone? How canst thou truly work for the good of a race whose ways thou dost not understand? Go thou into the catacombs of control, passion, and diligence. In each wilt thou find the final resting place of the being who most exemplifies that principle. Return when thou hast found these catacombs. never be easy, can it? Shine of diligence. Okay. Alright, in the shrine of, in the catacomb of control, mastery complex pattern of levers. Okay. I guess let's go to control first. here. Shrine of Control. Oh my. Well. Hmm. Okay. stay here and go into solo mode. You guys are confusing me.
Ah. Very close now. Kill this Drake. Standing on a trap. <laughs> That's interesting. Thirty-three gold coins and eighteen go gold coins. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get all the right switches. Mundane, the statue of Mundane. You see a stone statue of the evil wizard Mundane. You remember, as if it were yesterday, how you, the avatar, answers the quote one of the questions here, the, whether the stranger is the avatar, defeated Mundane in your first visit to Britannia. Using the four stones, you went back in time to smash his power gem. The statue speaks. So there's no question. It's the same person. Yeah. We meet again, Avatar. Fear not. I have but one task now, and am no threat. Gargoyles have enshrined my spirit here. Oh, did it say Britannia? Eh, well, <laughs> details, details. My spirit here as the embodiment of control. Was once a mighty wizard, control was the essence of my soul. I don't think they have their facts quite right. <laughs> yes, they do. It's perfect. Gargoyles know all. <laughs> Desire for more control overcame me. I forsook my self-control, and Ultima 9 is totally canon. <laughs> sort of. Not really. <laughs> control must start with the self. Darkle Stranger Retcon. Oh, is it? I just... It's gotta be. I mean, come on. Strong must lead, but to be strong, one must control oneself first. It's one of the things that dragons have debated for decades. But Ultima 6, one of the best in the series, says so. So, I, I believe. I mean, obviously people can believe what they like. I have always understood the Avatar and the Stranger to be one and the same. I just want to know what happened to the Fuzzy Wizards. <laughs> Where are the Fuzzy Wizards? Oh yeah, they became Imps. Is that right? What about the Bobbits? <laughs> Unite's explanation. One day we shall redo Ultima 9. Remake it from the beginning. Just from scratch, and we'll just we'll have to just rethink the whole ending to the Guardian saga. Mantra of control. Un I guess I should write that down. Un I don't remember what the final is here. Un. All right. 
anti-deeds show a need for more control. Do they? Do they, though? All right. Passion. Minax. Is it pronounced Minax? Minax? Minax. She is the embodiment of passion. That's pretty uh, interesting. What was U9's explanation of the Guardian? Like, oh, that he's like, like when you became the Avatar, the bad part of you became the Guardian. What's this? What's the trick here? Walk through lava. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> but I was right, right? I had to think about it for a second, but I believe that was the explanation. Spell field spells. Oh dear. I'm going to prevent magic while I'm here. Evil Witch Minax, you remember quite clearly how you defeated Minax in your second visit to Britannia. Although, was that Britannia or Earth? I, was, I thought you were still on Earth. Didn't she invade Earth? It's my understanding in you too. She invades Earth and takes it over. Slew the witch and destroyed her evil works. Is that is that your understanding, Galara? We meet again. Fear not. I have but one task. Gargoyles have enshrined my spirit as an embodiment of passion. in the time of legends yes but I mean the whole game other than the time of legends uh, takes place on earth right sort of except there's like spaceships and stuff yeah and the rest of the solar system yeah so she kind of melds the two or something she, she brings magic to earth and nobody remembers you one or you two other than the avatar or the stranger Right? You kind of undo it all. And of course, Sosaria in uh, definitely should have said Earth or at least Sosaria. And I don't understand. Like, Sosaria in Ultima 3 is completely different from anything else. Like, you won at least Serpent Isle is the lands of danger and despair. I guess the rest doesn't really match, but that map matches perfectly to Serpent Isle. That's at least more acceptable. And I guess it was just earthquakes and all kinds of things made Britannia kind of coalesce into what it is in Ultima 4. And it's kind of that from then on. My next invaded both Sosaria and Earth. That makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have to read all this. Contemplate what thou hast learned. Repeat after me the mantra of passion. Or. Un. Or. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Let me do that again. I don't know if it matters, but. Or. Excellent. 
All right, and finally, diligence, which I believe all I have to do is just go right there. Yeah. See what diligence says. Uh, oh my, it's a maze. Where's the where's the ladder down? Uh, let's see. Search many chambers for the secret door that leads onward and upward. Oh, up. In each shrine. Okay. Okay. Locked. Who has my lock picks? south okay. kill some bats try not to ash on myself oh I don't have my sword equipped Kill these things? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, see, oh, it doesn't say how much it weighs. <laughs> That's funny that the wolf was ridiculously heavy. Alright, I believe. Where's the secret door? somewhere should be here it should look different right I guess I have to go through here Was here. Was I not in the right place? Confused. Oh, maybe it's. I see it. There it is. Okay, cool. I'm cheating. I'm using a map. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Here I should find the statue of Exodus. Where did they get the name? Exodus. It's kind of an odd choice of a whoa, of a name for the enemy. I do have a sword. Wait. Did I see? Have this is 
just making sure that the wand didn't disappear. Man. Guys are tough. Especially without my magic armor. Yeesh. Yikes. Let's cast some spells. No magic. Oh, pfft. yeah, I've got my cloak on. I can't cast spells. Silly avatar. Eh. Back off a little. See anything? Sixteen stones. Yeesh. I'll let my guys handle this. Actually, I believe. Can I use this? My only yellow potion. I don't think anyone else is very hurt. Oh, you know what? What I should do? I'll tell you what I should do. Who has that? Gweno? Galleon up there with me? I guess so. I'm gonna adjust so I can see. That sword from back there, wherever he was. Actually. Oh, he's already set to front. That's weird. Dang. What's Shamina doing? Absolutely nothing. Oh, 
is it worth it to keep fighting these guys? Stone statue of the evil Exodus. Defeated Exodus in your third visit to Britannia. The four cards. <laughs> Those have enshrined my spirit as the embodiment of diligence. Was once a powerful daemon. It's this essence of my soul, cold, unswerving diligence in my path of conquest. Means cannot replace the end, and diligence cannot be the goal. Okay. Repeat after me the mantra of diligence. Us. Alright. So, it is Honoris. <laughs> Alright. I think I've had enough of these guys. I don't know what time it is, but... I am going to see if I can get healed by Lord British. Doubt these bozos following me. <laughs> Make a quick escape. Ah, there he is. Okay, so let's go back to the slab. Oh dear, a gathering. <laughs> Is that not a good thing? rings in your head. You understand it perfectly. Hast thou completed thy journey to the catacombs? Why, yes. What is the mantra of singularity? Un or us. Let the principle of control guide thy quest. Let the principle of passion drive thy quest. Let the principle of diligence maintain thy quest. Then wilt thou truly achieve the unified spirit and singularity of purpose that is necessary for success in all endeavors. I have a good feeling I'm going to finish this game. <laughs> this is the gargoyle way. Let it be thy way as well. The altar glows with a cold blue flame. You feel compelled to seek out the codex. Your final quest has begun. Indeed. So, to get to the codex is not too difficult. It's actually opposite of the slab, which would be right here. <laughs> Doing the short, short for us. This feels like we're going really fast through this. I mean, I guess could be talking to all the gargoyles. Oh, they let me through this time. Last time they deny entry. Here it is. Oh, I 
guess I look at it. I don't speak to it. As always, the codex is open to the pages bearing exactly the information you need. To return the codex to the vortex, place a convex lens exactly midway between the codex and the flame of singularity. Excuse me. So that the light from the flame converges on the codex, place a concave lens between the codex and the flame of infinity so that its light diverges over the codex. Then place the eight moonstones within the vortex cube. Set it on the ground in front of the codex and use it to return the codex from whence it came. Take it, this is the... Oh, that's the purple one. That's the blue one. Alright. I don't have the vortex cube. <laughs> I need to go get my ship. Maybe I can buy a new ship. So otherwise I'm going to have to go all the way around to Minoc. Mm. Boat, skiff, or balloon. Okay, I can use the balloon. Okay, apparently I need some fish. <laughs> Do I have any fish left? I All right, let's head to Minoc. I believe that's the best place to start to get to Stone Gate. Minoc is to Kitty Corner to the right, lower left, or lower right. south from here. Let me go a little bit. Yeah, okay, so there's this is the uh, the bay. Just want to get a little bit closer to where Stone Gate is here. What time of day is it? Oh, sun's setting. Who am I? Well, hmm, maybe I should rest. Just eat that fish. <laughs> well, excellent. I guess I did. Uh, does anyone else have a fish? Oh shoot! <laughs> Apparently, I ate all the fish that I had. Oh well, that's okay. You can get more. I can get more.
<laughs> Took long enough. All right. outside. Huge female cyclops. Oh, you cute, you funny looking like tiny one. <laughs> Male find him on shore. One eye, little one, die long ago. Two eye, little one, just as good. <laughs> Yoda cube, what color? Black? Oh, me seen that big black block. Male, keep that in cellar. Cellar, no go. Deep, 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 locked. Talk male, he have key. Okay. Oh. It's a child. Wow, two-eyed people like me. You gotta go see my folks. I'm Miles, but Mama and Papa aren't good with names. They just call me Tiny One. I help Mama and Papa. Though sometimes I think Papa wishes I were big and strong like a Cyclops, so I could help more. They're not my real parents. Mama and Papa found me on the beach. I guess my real parents drowned or something. That was long ago. I don't remember much about it. Mama and Papa said they used to have a son of their own, but he died, so they adopted me. We all live in that big old castle. The one we're in? <laughs> of rooms and cellars and stairs and stuff. Female stuff. Okay. Oh, is he asleep? Yeah. Wake up. Say where to use that? Can I just use it in any any water? Let's see. Oh good. Well, one should be enough. for people to wake up. Can that kid go 
through the doors? So. Papa is lazy. Wait a minute. Can I wake him up with a potion? Is it is blue is blue make you go to sleep or wake up? I don't remember. No effect. <sighs> there he is. Okay. See a huge male cyclops. Who you? John? <laughs> Avatar? Okay. Name? Me Cyclops. Tiny one say me Papa. Uh, okay. Cube. Cellar. Locked. Want key? Yes. Want fish. Use pole. Get fish. Want key? Bring fish. Fish good. Like eat much fish. Yes. Want fish. Okay, I did that. <laughs> I got your fish. You bring fish? Yes. Good fish. Here, key. Papa sends you a large rusted key. Yeah, excellent. Guess I just had to stop talking to him and talk to him again. You don't need that. So I have the key. How do I get through these? How do I get through here? Huh. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's a one in the middle. Secret. Okay, that opened everything up. Here we go. Stone gate is interesting. Let me look at a map real quick. Stone gate's basement.
force field. Does this key work on this door or not? Let's see. Unlock magic. Cube. We are almost there. We just need to find we need to find a lens maker. I'm guessing is in pause perhaps? Or am I not? Where's our lens maker? say where to go to get the human lens uh, but let me see unless it, I missed that part let's look at Gotta be either I'm guessing pause. Mm, no, that's where I got most of the stuff for the balloon. Lens maker. It's gotta be Minoc then. Here we go. Glass blower. Is it the glass blower in Minoc? Perhaps? I guess we could check it out. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, so it'll be it's funny there's no like main final boss to fight or anything like that. No enemy at the end. It's all about peace. Let's see here. How do I get to Minoc? Uh, all right. I guess I should have used my. Oops. Should have used my uh, glass swords since <laughs> there's really nothing more to use them on. Should have used them on that last dragon. Need to get a lens. I'm gonna guess the glass blower. If this is not it, I will probably have to look it up. So this doesn't seem to say where you get the other lens. Where's the glass blower? I H I. there. So close. 
this so I can feel it. sure this is where I need to be. Uh, let's see, Ultima 6, human lens, lenses. Uh, oh, I have to go to Moon Glow. Wow. Moon Glow. That is not what I thought. Okay. And who? Is it actually Moon Glow or the Lyceum? Ephemerides. Uh, an astronomer. Oh, right. He was the lens. Specialist, dude. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and in fact, he is actually not in Moon Glow. I don't believe. I believe he's at the Lyceum. Indeed. He's at the observatory at the Lyceum. All right. Good to know I'm in the wrong place. Alrighty. I am so close. This is about to be the end. It's really the last thing is to get that lens. And then I'm done. We shall see the grand finale. Where Lord British freaks out. Says, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Codex is disappearing. The codex disappeared. I still want to know who is responsible for those killer bunnies at Sutex Castle. <laughs> Damn killer bunnies. Run away, run away. Where is he? Mm -hmm. Come on. Is he sleeping? Seriously? Boot up. <laughs> Spent half my time in this game waiting for people to wake up. Does he just wake up at night? Son of a gun. Alrighty. Fine. Be that way. Immediately hear something. Oh, it's a snake. Lovely. I suppose he's still asleep. More of them. Jeez, they're everywhere. Check out some of these. All right, where can I sleep with no snakes? <laughs> so 
Someone else guard. I'm gonna run out of food. Alright. Very good. You better be awake. Ah, yes. Here we go. I need a lens. Ooh, let me see it. See it. It's a very interesting lens. You need a concave copy of it? Let me think. It would be very tricky to duplicate, being magical in nature, but I believe I might be able to do it. The material and nature of the enchantment appear similar to those involved in the making of glass swords. If I could keep this to analyze while you go get me a glass sword, I'll try and make a copy for you. Before you can protest, he pockets the lens. Let me know when you have the glass sword. I have plenty of glass swords, so... You brought me a glass sword. Let me just get your lens. Fumbles through his pockets. Oh no, I seem to have lost the lens. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> Here it is. Now I'll melt down the glass sword to try to cast a lens for you. You watch as he works, intently focused on his task. Finally, he pronounces the job a success. Here's your lens back and the duplicate. There's no charge. The challenge of the task was reward enough. I don't know what you need those lenses for, but I wish you good luck. Thanks. Just saving an entire race of gargoyles or something. <laughs> Who has all my keys, anyway? Um, yellow, yes. Get this too. Alright, so... Here's what we shall do. Alright, are you ready? Is anybody still with me? <laughs> or is it just me talking to myself? Because this is the end of the game. We've got all the pieces we need. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Very good. Very good. You know what? It's so dark. I won't be able to see what I'm doing. the stones. <laughs> to another person's bag. has vanished. <laughs> Huzzah! The glowing portal springs from the floor. Let me see. I'll make sure I'm streaming still. It's not like dead or something. Excellent. From its crimson depths, Lord British emerges, trailed by the mage Nistal. Anguish and disbelief prevail on the royal seer's face, but Lord British directs his stony gaze at you and speaks as if to a wayward child. Thou didst have just cause to burgle our codex, I trust, his majesty says, but for virtue's sake, 
What has thou done with it? You pick up the concave lens and pass it to the king. Was the book ever truly ours, your majesty? Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, I mean, sorry. Was it written for Britannia alone? Yes. No, 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 of course not. Thou dost no longer hold the codex, but is its wisdom indeed lost? Yes. No, no, it's not. Look <laughs> into the vortex and let the codex answer for itself. Uh, oops, cigarette. It was that good, the ending. As Lord British holds the glass before the wall, the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom wavers into view against a myriad of swimming stars. Yet the book remains closed. Well. I love how they mix music. I love this part where they play the gargoyle and then the... Yeah. The waves of heat... Sh uh, and waves of heat shimmer in the air, heralding the birth of another red gate. I forgot about the whole music thing. King Draxon Newsom, very naked, of the gargoyles, strides forward flanked by a small army of also naked and wingless attendants. Like Lord British, he seems to suppress his rage only through a heroic effort of will. His scaly hand grasps your shoulder and your amulet of submission grows very warm. Thy time has come, thief, he says. Quickly, you reach down to seize the convex lens and you press it into the hand of the towering gargoyle king, meeting his sunken eyes. Join my lord in his search for peace, I beg thee. At your urging, King Draxon Newsom reluctantly raises his lens to catch the light. As Lord British holds up his own lens, every eye in the room, human and gargoyle alike, fixes upon the image of the codex which shines upon the wall. ancient book opens, both kings gaze upon its pages in spellbound silence, as the eloquence of ultimate wisdom is revealed in the tongues of each lord's domain. You too can read the answers the codex gives, and when its wisdom is gleaned, you don't get to see, I guess, when Lord British and King Drexenusum turn to each other as friends, hating no longer, fearing no more, you know that your mission in Britannia has ended at last. Hmm. I love it when musicians do stuff like this. <laughs> Two tunes. Congratulations! Thou hast... Completed Ultima Six, the False Prophet, in 23 days. <laughs> Report thy feet unto Lord British at Origin Systems. Oh, I shall. <laughs> it's over. Well, it just closed. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much, Galara. Ooh. Oh, well, you're still here. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was still here. That's cool. Um, huh, that's weird. My chat window didn't show that. Well, great. So I don't know if you've been chatting since 9. Oh, okay. Weird. My chat froze up. So I didn't see all of your other chats. But I see you guys are still here. Neat. Oh, wow, you guys have been saying up well Galar, you've been saying stuff. <laughs> Anzu, Orange, Papa's so personal I missed all that. I'm sorry about that. My chat window froze up. Cool. Alright. Well enjoy. It was fun. I guess uh Ultima seven will continue tomorrow, kind of about you know, three quarters of the way through, so I'll see you later. Cheers.